Um, if this is your first time um, viewing Third Eye Visions, I would like to say what's happening. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Make sure to subscribe. And make sure to hit the like button because that helps with uh, the analytics and things like that. <clears throat> I want to talk today about what my life would be like if I wasn't blind. Definitely, this, this will be brief. Um, it definitely be brief. Uh, <laughs> brief. It, it this will definitely be a whole situation, be a whole ball of wax because as you know, I've been visually impaired since I was two years of age. What my life would be like would be totally different in the sense that the choices that I make, the opportunities that present itself would be different. Um, probably a different location as opposed to where I live now and what have you. So those particular things that I want to uh, at least um, expound on briefly. I mean, the choices, uh, I want to basically focus on the um, types of jobs that I would be able to get. Because of, as of now, it has been extremely hard. I'm going to be real, which is, you know, throughout my life, it has been extremely hard trying to find the right job or trying to find that job, which is a uh, adequate for me and what I can and cannot do. So right now I'm, I'm in between jobs, still getting paid, but I'm in between jobs because technology has to uh, be equipped to handle the job, the task and things like that. So they have to do a lot of trial and error. It's not like if you could see or if you had another impairment aside from being blind that you could actually just go and take a job, it's just any job. So my choices would definitely be uh, uh, wide open in terms of what I uh, would, you know, would be doing. And with my initiative and with my determination, and I'm being real, if I still had those particular things and, you know, I'd gone to college, I definitely would have been able to, you know, had no pride, you know, because like a lot of uh, sighted individuals, they don't want to take certain jobs. I definitely wouldn't have had any problems t t trying to take or taking jobs that will at least allow me a chance to uh, move upward in the, in the job uh, status. Um, so that's definitely one big, uh, should I say, downfall or factor uh, that has hindered me as a uh, blind person. So <clears throat> um, there are opportunities um, other than, you know, me just doing the, the, the basic jobs with computers. There, are, uh, there will be other opportunities out there for me as well. Um, Let's see what my life will be like. Also, just just living where where I'm living now in Louisiana. Right now, there there aren't there many opportunities for individuals who who are uh, visually impaired. There are a lot of jobs for those who may be in a wheelchair, or if the, for those who have sight. It's more so the bigger cities that you you know would have the opportunity to to um, get a better job. You know, especially with my college degree, but. I'm speaking in terms of what my life would be like if I had sight. I don't think I'd be living in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana now. Being blind, uh, living here, or be, let's say being blind, that's not, you know, it has nothing to do with why I'm living in uh, Louisiana. And I really regret it. I did move out to California for some time, but, you know, that didn't work out. Um, what else? I think the, the finances would be different. I mean, because I would have a better job. Um, I would have opportunities to, to at least move up. Right now, the job that I do have there, there isn't um, any room for upward mobility, you know, um, working on the computer, things like that. So, um, what else? What would my life be like if I weren't blind? Um, of course, I, I would be able to drive would have to have to um, depend on people. Now there are um, different uh, uh, forms of transportation, but you have to. It's more so making preparations, and there also is like Uber and Lyft and things like that. But it does cost money. If I had my own site, get in my car, go about my business, I have to worry about kicking out money every time I like to go somewhere. Now, 
don't don't get me wrong. There are some visually impaired people that are just in the independent which i consider myself some somewhat independent it's just that i got a little complacent since i've you know got into relationships i don't travel as much doesn't require me to go to many places and you know, my traveling especially with, with the job that i do have but i definitely will be more independent and um uh you know get up and go and um i've spoken with a lot of blind people they've run into that particular problem as well it, it just uh, allows if, if, if what would my life be like? It just allowed me to be more of, uh, you know, independent, and that's what I love to be. Let's see, what would my life be like if I wasn't blind? Um, hmm, I, I mean, th those are basically the biggest two that um, that, are, that that come to mind. Because other than that, I, I consider myself independent. It's just more so the choices. I don't think. Oh, another one. Um, I don't think that I would be uh, as depressed as much. Sometimes I, I do get a bit depressed because of the fact that I am a visually impaired person, and you know, because of the fact that I don't have the right job where I should, you know, I'm not where I should be, and in, 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 in you know, in life and what have you. And I do uh, kind of uh, teeter totter with with that because I wanted so much after I graduated from college. I wanted so much to do, you know, to be successful and when, when whatever I try. And I think that, you know, the the choices as a blind person, um, you're sort of limited in what you, you know, what's out there and whatnot, and, you know, until maybe it could be the fact that I'm in, and I'm, I'm in the wrong uh, area or, um, or what have you, but um, no one knows. I mean, if I have that second chance, you know, in life and, w and able to redo it all over again, you know, maybe I would definitely find out, but, um, because other than that, I think that's it. Because I haven't had any problems with any other situations as far as dating and um, uh, being a, a parent and, and what have you. It's just more so me being more uh, independent. The choices that um, a sighted person would have, I would be able, I would be, uh, you know, able to to use uh, the same uh, resources that they have as well. So just wanted to kick that out to you and see what you think about it and um, get your response. I want to thank y'all for subscribing to Third Eye Visions, those who have done it already and continue to do so.